Welcome to Frankie's IoT Garage. My name is Frank. And my name is Dave. And today we speak about... About retrofitting. Check it out. Uh, retrofitting, what is it, Frankie? What do you mean by with retrofitting? More and more devices um, takes a retrofit approach to uh, connect to IoT mm -hmm. because the development uh, time of new products um, to design complete new products takes five, four uh, or more, more years. And how, does, how long does it take to retrofit an existing device like this one uh, which you brought us? This uh, takes a very short time because uh, this is an existing device and you connect it with some components to make it IoT ready. Some sensors or actors, what you need. Yeah, today I want to show you a sample of uh, retrofitting. Uh, I brought a, a fire detector, a smoke detector, and this smoke detector have some pins in. Mm -hmm. Will you show this to the camera? Normally it's uh, for a, a separate radio that uh, the smoke detector can communicate with others. With other smoke so, detectors? Yes. So, if, so uh, like if one, if one is um, giving an alarm and then he says this uh, device talks to another yes, device? Yes, and everything is beeping. Okay, yeah. okay. <clears throat> but we want to use these pins to uh, for retrofitting to bring this um, a smoke detector direct to the cloud and on the app. Show this. Um, so this what, chip. what we need for this one? We need at first we need a gateway, uh, a gateway in 886 megahertz. This is connected to to a Wi-Fi on the one side. On the other side takes a radio to communicate with this one. What you have in your hand. This is a radio chip with all um, security and uh, cloud communication layers in the chip is burned in. And you, you built it? Yes, we built it. Uh, it takes a short time and we want to use it to retrofit it now. You see? And it just fits? It just fits. This radio chip communicates with the gateway and the gateway with the cloud computing stack. Uh, so this is a direct connection. Mm -hmm. So, and if I put the battery in, you see on my map, this is the color has changed. This means the sensor is online now. And what's happened if I press one of these buttons? This means... It's like a test button. It's a test button. You see... Changing the color, yeah. And um, the set exactly the position where you are and if I don't click on, on react, uh, yeah. react just now <coughs> I expect a phone call and a text message oh okay give in, me your phone in uh, 20 seconds okay ah, it's already there okay put it on the speaker speaker is on <laughs> You see, and also a text message is coming. And uh, you see, this is a retrofit uh, example, very quick and uh, very comfortable for the user. Now the smoke detector is uh, everything on everywhere on the world. Uh, you can receive uh, the alarm from this one. So this would also be a very cheap uh, version to uh, retrofit this. Yes, but it's... And you can do this with all devices? Or what <coughs> kind of devices? This is only a sample, but we have done uh, this in a real product. Mm -hmm. yeah, this we can do with all the devices that have um, a low-level interface. Okay. And maybe we can uh, show some more examples in the next episodes and uh, go on, what do you think? Um, I think we, we want to show the next time um, how to bring an Arduino to the cloud computing system. Okay, great. So uh, leave a comment if you have a question or write an email. We do a Q&A later on, I think. We're fine today? Yes. It's nice to have you, you in the show. If you have a question, please email me. My name is Frank. My name is Dave. Goodbye.
，拜拜。